Just before we start, I want to preface this with Mark Monker's asking me questions and I can't keep a straight face when he talks to me. <laughs> so off you go. All right, obviously today has been a bit of a tough day at the office there for you guys. Um, are there any sort of positive that you guys were able to take out of today? You? No, I don't think so. We, we pretty much gave it up there in probably the second part of the second half, um, which is really disappointing. I mean, you can't take anything out of that. Um, it's, a, it's just a capitulation and our boys have got to, got to live with that. We need a, need a few more leaders on the park. And um, I suppose looking forward to the last couple of games of the season, what are you, what are you guys trying to take out of that and also the, the final series? Uh, last two games of the season is uh, pretty important. We need to we need to win and try to get try to get second. Um, the final series is, you know, it's not high on our list of importance. So we'll go in it. It might be a good chance to um, see what we've got, see who's willing to put in for next year or who we have to recruit for next year. And um, I suppose, obviously, you know, from the last game where South you played South Hobart, you were sort of, you know, on top of the ladder and that sort of stuff. There, how do you think the boys are reacting to, I suppose, the pressure that they're under now? Yeah, but apart from apart from today and the South Hobart game, that you guys have had it over us. Um, both of those two games, all the rest of the games, I thought we performed quite well, and um, probably if luck had gone our way in those games, we would have had the result. So um, it's a, it's a tough gig. A lot of you know, we've got a few 16, 17 year olds who have never been in that position. This is their first season of senior football, so um, obviously they're going to learn a lot from it. Um, probably a little bit like South Hobart when I played. We were a young squad and we needed a few years to learn how to, how to cop a hit and how to, you know, put in, you know, like men, men play. So um, that's probably where we're at at the moment. All right, thank you. Cool. So, Ken, how do you, how do you feel the game went today? Well, I think it's what we expected. It was going to be a hard slog. The, the ground was heavy, um, but I thought we played the ground well today. We we didn't overplay it through midfield. We got in behind them, and we took our chances well. Yeah. And uh, you had Darcy Hall got a hat trick today. You got to be pretty happy with that one from him. Yeah, he's uh, obviously he's back down in Hobart now. He's not travelling, so. He's kind of getting settled again. He's had a couple of good training sessions in, so I expect him to get fitter and stronger as the uh, season progresses to its finale. Yeah. And obviously today's result a big turnaround from round one. What do you what do you see the key things that have changed since uh, round one of the side? Well, pr probably from our point of view, the depth we've got in the squad now, and from Devonport's point of view, maybe the. Uh, um, you know, I've lost two or three players and experienced players, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, and really, just the, the speed and the intensity in which we've been playing, I think, has given us the edge. And uh, looking forward to obviously the NPL final series, um, how do you see that sort of playing out for South Hobart? Is it a tournament you're going to be looking to win? I think so. I think without a doubt, you know, it's the the NPL playoffs are important for us, and we'll we'll try and make it a double the league in the the playoffs. Uh, I would I head off to Brisbane tomorrow to watch Gold Coast and Brisbane Olympic play, who will meet in in the big playoffs. So we look I look forward to that.